On this episode of Skeptico, author of Evidence of the Afterlife, Dr. Jeffrey Long. If there was any cause of brain dysfunction, hypoxia, chemicals, REM intrusion, uh, anything that, that could possibly cause brain dysfunction and create hallucinatory, illusionary experiences, none of that is happening. So no question about that. What near-death experiencers see correlates to their time of cardiac arrest, and it is almost uniformly accurate in every detail. And that pretty much refutes the possibility that these could be illusionary fragments, unreal memories. It's a profound and reassuring message that we all have an afterlife, every single one of us, and it's wonderful. And it is probably the greatest thrill of my life to be able to carry forward that important message to the world. I wouldn't do it if I weren't absolutely convinced that it's correct. And I'll tell you something else, Alex. I have whole folders and entire files. I've gone over every skeptic argument I can get my hand on. I've processed it for hours and hours and hours. I have a folder titled how could we be wrong? And and at the end of the day, after processing this at a depth that's far more than you could possibly have on your show, no doubt in my mind, carefully considering the evidence for and against, near-death experiences for real. And I'll tell you something else. I would be delighted to debate any near-death experience skeptic anytime, any place on any media, as long as they're scholarly, very well informed, as long as it can be a very high-level intellectual debate.